For the public that is watching, uh, good evening everyone. For the public that is watching, there's been a slight delay in the uh, convening of this meeting, special meeting of the Common Council uh, of about six minutes. We will convene now. Call a special meeting of the Common Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren? Here. Bauk? Here. Gisha? Here. Hannah? Here. Heidemann? Here. Kittleson? Here. Lyonis? Here. Manny? Here. Meyer? Here. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Ryan? Here. Smith? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Verhasselt? Excuse. And Wangaman? Here. 15 present. Quorum is present. Uh, Alderman Heidemann, would you please lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Heidemann. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would move that all of the... ROs 1117 through 1627 be accepted and placed on file. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would move that all RCs be accepted, uh, that RCs 1561 through 16. 45 be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. President Hanna. Mr. Mayor, I would move that we take a five minute recess so that you and I can discuss some amendments to 1550 and 1551. There's a second to that? Second. Motion to recess for five minutes. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We we'll stand recess for five minutes. Alderman, please take your seats. Welcome back, the public and citizens present. President Hanna, need a motion to reconvene? So moved. Second. Motion to reconvene. Second. Under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We are reconvened. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that resolution number 1340708 be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Boren. Aye. Bauk. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Kleinus. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Smith. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. And Wangaman. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 1551, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would like to uh, put resolution number 1350708 upon its passage second. with. Motion and second. Yes. With a motion, uh, <clears throat> an amendment to reflect the following changes. In order to reduce the health insurance, <clears throat> to properly reflect the health insurance, for individuals taking early retirement incentives, police department, 48,605. Fire department, $81,005. Streets, 22,480. Cemetery, 16,202. And parks, 32,402, which totals $200,694 with the following revenue adjustments. In lieu of taxes from the water utility, 75000 Proceeds from the sale of property, 72825 Is there a second to that? Second. 
There's a, mo a motion to put resolution upon its passage with a mo and a motion to amend under discussion on the amendment. <coughs> Alderman Smith. Thank you, Your Honor. Could there be given an explanation to it? I'm thinking of the citizens at home, too, to, as to why we're just changing this at the last minute. Absolutely. The, uh, as you will recall, we had, we had a balanced budget the last time before we heard unexpectedly from the state that the, uh, the tax rates in manufacturing had gone down. Therefore, our reasonable projection of 300, about $330,000 for our budget uh, therefore became inaccurate and became a, de a deficit. So we had to come back and find $330,000, give or take. That amount, is, as you will note in the amendment that President Hanna has, has made, uh, will come from back in the, the, uh, the insurance costs that had been budgeted for the retirees, which we don't need. So that money does not need to be appropriated, so that's being backed out. The, pilot in lieu of, the payment in lieu of taxes, taxes comes from the uh, water utility the water utility makes that payment to the city of Sheboygan. We expect, generally, uh, this year at least, we expected about $645,000 in a payment in lieu of taxes. We were made aware that that payment is going to be uh, a little bit larger. Therefore, we can reasonably project $75,000 more in additional revenue. The $72,000, give or take, uh, with respect to the projected land sales uh, was as a result of further looking into a more uh, a more accurate uh, market analysis of both properties that the, uh, some of the aldermen are contemplating on putting up in the market. So that would give us the, the, uh, the revenue that we need to make up that $330,000 deficit that was caused by the state, uh, let us know. Any other questions? Alderman Reflation. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, also for those people at home, I think it looked highly irregular necessarily at the beginning of this session to go behind closed doors. I don't think anything there was so controversial that we could not have all been a part of that conversation initially. Uh, so I urge next time, let's keep that open as much as possible. I know I'm going to have some phone calls that way of why was that done you know, in an open session behind closed doors and recess versus I think that's some good news that we could have rolled out right away and had everybody here right away. Thank you. You're talking about the recess right now? The, the, talking about the, the, the recess to discuss the issue. Uh, right. Done in recess instead of in, in open session because I think it, it is good news that we found that money. and. Been nice to have that discussed at that time that people can see that, that it's not all done behind closed doors. We, we do do it in the open for the public interest. And I can assure Alderman Rinsplash, we're not doing it behind closed doors. The motion was made publicly, second publicly, voted by everyone, including yourself. We came back and reconvened. There is not, nothing done behind the closed door. We have our finance director working on it. We have a president of the Common Council working on it. There's nothing done behind closed doors. Thank you. Alderman Gisha. Uh, thank you, Mayor Perez. And, and actually, that it, uh, in commenting on what Older Prison Renflesh said, these budgets do go right up to the wire. I mean, we didn't find out about a lot of these changes. I haven't been involved with everything with the budget, just a few meetings here and there. And, and um, uh, sometimes negative things are said, so positive things should be said as well. I have enjoyed working with the Finance Committee tremendously and my colleagues on the Finance Committee regarding this budget. And uh, I have to say I've enjoyed working with the mayor tremendously on this budget. He does know where every nickel is. Uh, and I want to thank Nancy Buss for her help. Uh, it was an interesting position to step into as interim finance director uh, with Rich retiring. So, um, and the other council members who have been involved in their own committees, uh, I think just did a tremendous job. Um, we had a little surprise here with the state. I think everybody rallied together and worked together and found a solution to that financially. Um, everybody given a little. And, uh, finding some dollars that were unused and moving them over here or there. And that does go right down to the last second, obviously, with this evening. But uh, I want to publicly thank the mayor for his help with the budget uh, and his leadership with that and all the uh, people I interacted with. It's just been absolutely wonderful uh, employees of the city pitching in as well. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Uh, Gisha. Alderman Clayness. Thank you, Your Honor. I hate to put a little wet blanket on it. Nice comments, Alderman Gisha. Um, I just still have some concerns about information technology and the fact that the fund has been reduced and uh, it may affect one employee very seriously. And um, I voted against it a couple sessions ago, and I feel uh, discouraged by the fact that the information technology department is being shortchanged in some ways. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Hanna, you were... Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. President Hanna, excuse me. Thank you. Um, and I, too, uh, 
Nancy Buss was put into a, an incredibly challenging situation in picking up from where Rich left off. And I have to, I publicly, I want to thank her for an incredible uh, professional job. She's been a delight to work with, always had answers, got back to you in a timely fashion. And I, and I do want to second what, what Alderman Gish has said. I thought that the mayor has a handle on the budget. Um, the taxpayers uh, really need and owe you a great thank you for the way you handle the budget process. It's got to be one of the most challenging parts of your job. You're on top of every line item. And uh, thank you for your leadership. Thank you, President Hanna. Appreciate that. Oh, Vice President Warren. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I want to just second what uh, uh, Alderman Hanna said. I've uh, been on the Finance Committee now for two years. And to think that you started out with having to come up with, I think, almost close to $3 million to balance this budget. I want to thank you. I want to thank the department heads. And it's also been a pleasure working with my, my fellow Finance Committee members. And also, kudos also, again, to Nancy to, to have to step in, kind of like in the seventh inning, and pick up the ball and run with it. I think she did an outstanding job. But uh, again, to balance, to, to come, you know, to take a three million, almost a $3 million deficit and balance our budget for the second year in a row uh, is yeoman's work. Thank you. Thank you, Vice President Bourne. Alderman Bulk. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't want to turn into a self-licking ice cream cone here tonight, but uh, I think the city does deserve uh, to know uh, about the great things that have gone on uh, in ways that they may not see all the time. Uh, I'm on the Finance Committee, but I played a very, very minor role. I, I voted a few things that I believed in, but this city owes a great deal of uh, thanks to Alderman and Alderman Gisha for their leadership on specifically on the health insurance programs and programs that have been a big solve for that $3 million hole. I think your professionalism and your understanding of the budgets and, and where the hockey pucks can kind of flow, and then Nancy's, uh, Nancy's strong understanding of every darn light item in that three-inch thick book. So um, uh, again, just very great kudos to the leadership of, of you four. It's been a great year, and it was an uphill climb, $3 million without raising a penny of taxes on the good people out there in the city of Sheboygan. I think, I think it deserves a round of applause to you. Alderman Bauk, any more discussion on the amendment only? Alderman Rinkfleisch. Mm, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, excuse me. Um, uh, fellow Alderman did have a question regarding, or at least a statement regarding the IT uh, department. I guess I'm sure we all received the letter from uh, Attorney T. Winkle regarding Margie Verhelst and that position there. Um, I understand that, that as we go through, there's been some changes made in that department. Could you give us a rundown um, as, a, as a budget item, why that department is being cut back and why the position salary is being cut back? Thank you. I'm sorry, was that a question for me? That's the question for whoever would like to answer. Okay, I didn't catch it. Would you please, if you want me to respond to that, please rephrase that again, sir. Okay. Um, I guess. Um, if you'd like to respond or direct whoever is in charge. I guess the, the, the question is, we all received a letter from Bill T. Winkle, the attorney for Rody Dales, regarding Margie Verhelst, her position there. Uh, I guess we're looking for some clarification of why that department and specifically why that position uh, salary in terms of the budget process is being reduced uh, as it is uh, to meet, the, to meet okay. the balanced budget. Thank you. I can give it a shot. <clears throat> the, that position that uh, you refer to uh, that is being held or was being held by uh, Mr. Verhulst uh, does no longer exist. The position was eliminated by salary agreements and a new position was created and that is the position of IT director. The former position was IT manager under the supervision of the finance director. That uh, hierarchy has changed. That's a decision that was passed by the salary and grievance committee and in doing so, they also uh, adjusted the salary accordingly with the, uh, the new position and the new job description that, uh, that applies, that corresponds to that, uh, to that position. The, uh, every, anyone is free to apply. That position has been advertised. We have applicants. Anyone is free to, to uh, apply, uh, knowing full well what the salary is. Anything else on the amendment? Please call the roll. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? 
Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Smith? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Need a motion to no, no. I need a motion to put the resolution upon its passage as amended. Okay. Put the put the resolution upon its passage, uh, one thirty five, oh seven oh eight as amended. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clionis. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Smith. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. and Bauk. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. Sorry, still anxious. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned.